Sophia Hodgson from Rusty Blue 85 and I'm back with another card making tutorial here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made an interactive card using the My Favourite Things Over the Moon for You stamp set and matching dies. So here's the Over the Moon for You stamp set by My Favourite Things and I'm going to be using the little jumping sheep and the I'm Over the Moon for You sentiment. Um, I'm also going to be using this hill die but instead of it being a hill I'm going to turn it into a moon. And I will also be using the slider channel from the Hit the Slopes die and this little um, backer for the sliding element from the... Surf and Turf stamp set and those little MFT slider elements are available to buy separately as well. I'm going to be creating a galaxy background using Distress Inks and then flicking it with uh, some Gansai Tambi watercolour paints later. Uh, I lost the footage from the, uh, the very beginning when I was using mustard seed to sponge on some colour onto my background. Um, so I'm also using picked raspberry, peacock feathers, black soot and uh, a little bit of, I think it's faded jeans, to make my galaxy background. Uh, and I'm just going to play some music and I will be back with you later once I've been, uh, <laughs> once I've done all of my sponging. <laughs> all of my distress inks onto my background I'm going to be using some clean clear water to create some splatter and this will start it to start helping it to look a bit more like a galaxy and I'm just picking that up with a microfiber cloth and just flicking some more water on and again picking it up with a microfiber cloth just to pull the color away uh, and I'm going to be using the Gansai Tambi starry colors in the gold I pull out the white gold but I don't actually use it in the end because instead I use um, the Hero Arts shimmer white spray and I'm just using a water pen to add water to the palette and mix it up these uh, mica based paints are very thick and they take a while to uh, to get the pigment moving and uh, get them to the right consistency 
So now that I've got it all mixed up and uh, the right consistency, I'm just using the edge of an acrylic block to flick it all over my project. And as you can see, the cats think that this is great. Uh, they're all very interested and Mal wants to drink my, my gold paint. So I have to pu push him away at some point. Um, uh, and I'm just clearing up my, my work surface because I've managed to get gold paint pretty much everywhere. Uh, and I'm just cleaning off the bristles of my water brush here on the microfiber cloth. And here's the Hero Arts Shimmer Mist. Um, so I, I wanted quite large blobs um, instead of a very fine mist. So I've unscrewed the nozzle and I'm just flicking that on my project. Uh, and I think that you can tell now that it's becoming much more galaxy-like as opposed to, you know, kind of great lumps of colour. It looks much better now that it's had all of the splatter. Um, and you can leave this to air dry, but I'm quite particular and I <laughs> like to get it over and done with. So I'm air drying it with my Ranger heat tool. And now that my background is ready, I'm going to start stamping and I'm going to be stamping the sheep and some of the stars onto some Nina Classic Crest Super White. Um, and I'm going to stamp two sheep because I always manage to make a mistake when I'm colouring. Uh, so I'm stamping that in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, which is alcohol marker friendly. Uh, and uh, I'm going to put some music on again because uh, most of the colouring is fairly self-explanatory. And I'll be back when I've finished colouring in the sheep and the moon. <music>
I've coloured and cut out my sheep and my moon. I've also used the slider die mechanism to cut the sliding channel out of my galaxy background and I'm going to be stamping the sentiment. Uh, I really want to heat emboss this sentiment so that it will stand out on the galaxy background so I'm just using my embossing buddy to remove any oil or residue that may cause the embossing powder to stick where I don't want it. And I'm just using my T-square ruler to make sure that my sentiment is completely straight because I don't want to ruin my card at this point. And I'm using Versamark ink to stamp the sentiment onto the background. And I'm going to do that twice just uh, because it's quite textured with all of the splatter from the watercolour paint. So just make sure that it, it definitely stamps correctly before I sprinkle it with some embossing powder. So this is seafoam white embossing powder and uh, I will link all of the products that I use um, in the description below. Um, and as you can see, even though I used my uh, anti-static embossing buddy, some of the embossing powder has stuck to the sprinkled watercolour. Um, so I've just brushed that off with a, just a, a normal paintbrush and now I'm heat setting that with my WOW embossing tool. Um, I prefer to use the Ranger tool for drying projects because it's not as uh, direction. It, it doesn't cause as much warping. It's not as directional as the uh, the Wow embossing one, but I do like to use that for setting my embossing powder. So I've covered the entirety of the back background panel with uh, foam tape, and uh, I'm still on my crazy large roll. Um, but now I'm going to be setting my slider channel into its uh, little die cut hole. I'm just using some uh, reverse tweezers to get that in the right place and I'm sticking that down onto the card base making sure it's all in the right place and then I'm going to remove all of the backing on the uh, foam so that I can get that stuck down over the slider channel. <laughs> my head in the way but I needed to get over it so that I could see that it was definitely centered. So now I'm going to start work on the mechanism for the the slider for the sheep uh, and I've die cut uh, I, I want to put two mechanisms behind the sheep uh, so that it doesn't spin it just uh, goes straight. So I've glued two little uh, die cut circles together for each mechanism just to make it more sturdy behind the sheep so that it stays in the channel better and I'm using the MFT little uh, slider discs so I've got glossy accents that I've used to adhere the mechanism to the little die cuts um, and I put them to, to the side to let them dry for a bit uh, and then I've put both of them into the channel as you can see just above the uh, in the background panel. I'm going to pop up the moon on some black foam squares because hopefully they won't show quite as much as white foam squares. Um, and yes, I have gone heavy on the foam squares. I love my foam squares. I don't want anything to uh, buckle, um, especially when I'm making it for somebody that I know. I want it to be kind of really high quality. So I've used loads of foam squares here. And I'm just removing all of the backing panels from those now and I'm going to adhere that underneath my slider channel. So the card's all coming together now. We have our moon and our galaxy and our little sheep is going to be jumping over the moon. Uh, and again, I'm using glossy accents to adhere the little uh, slider bits to our sheep. Um, and I, I adhered them quite far apart from each other and I found that it wasn't sliding quite right in the channel. So... Um, after I've given it a, a little trial off screen, I will actually go back, um, remove the sheep very, very carefully. I was very lucky that I didn't have to um, do too much to it. Um, and I moved the two slider mechanisms much closer together and it moved much better. Um, but as I said, I did that off screen. Um, and last but not least, I'm just stamping some stars that are also in the Over the Moon set and I'm colouring them in with the same gold that I used to splatter the background. And I think that that makes it all very cohesive. It's all the same colour and it's, it's the same product. So just colouring those in. 
and there's a die that cuts out all three stars at the same time so I will die cut those and then adhere them over the project. just adhering the stars now all over the the project to finish it off if you're new to my channel and uh, you like what you see please do give this video a thumbs up also if you want to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and if you click on the bell then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video uh, and I'd love to see you back here soon um, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end and I hope to share another card making video with you soon. Thanks very much and bye.